today. So we are in week 26 of math. And I have to say the last week's math class for me um, was a lot of fun. And it really helped me to see how much you guys have grown uh, as far as being good math students. Uh, I know some of us needed a little more help than others, but even with that help, um, I could tell you understood what was going on. So I told you last week this was a one-week thing and we'd get back to live math Zooms. Well, I lied. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do math um, this week, just like we did last week. It still gives me the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with you. And whether you're in school or you're at home, we still have that opportunity to work together uh, to, to fix any of your problems. And quite honestly, what I saw last week was a lot of people were doing some great things and being able to watch you do it. So Nearpods don't really allow me to watch you do it, um, but being able to Zoom with those of you at home that needed help, I could see what you were doing. Those of you sitting in class, I can see what you were doing. So I, I really felt like we learned a lot doing it that way last week. This week, we're only going to focus on two math skills. We're going to work on fractions and we're going to work on multiplication. Uh, fractions, like I told you guys last week, that was probably going to be the hardest worksheet you had all week, and that was true. Um, but what I did notice is um, all of us struggled just a little bit with fractions. So we're going to do Monday and Tuesday, two days of fractions. Wednesday, um, we all have packet C of the math packet. It was either mailed to you or you took it home. So I'm going to have you pick a sheet out of the math packet. Go ahead and do it. If you were coming to school on Thursday, just bring it with you and turn it in. Um, if you were at home, you could take a picture, uh, have somebody send it to me, send it to me through chat. Same thing if you're coming to school on Thursday. If you'd rather send a picture, send a picture, that's fine. But I will make sure that I check it and I will get it back to you so you know how you did. On Thursday and Friday, um, our math will be multiplication. So I, I believe the first day on Thursday, you're going to be using pictures to write both a multiplication and a addition problem. Because remember, multiplication is repeated addition. Um, so you'll see the directions for that. And then on Friday, uh, you will be um, doing a cool worksheet, I think. You're going to be using insects and animals to set up and solve multiplication problems. Now, what I'm going to do is for each lesson, I will do an introduction by giving you an example of the problem. So I think last week, a lot of us, especially those of you at home, uh, where you made your mistake was you were kind of unsure what to do. So in talking to some of you that were at home, I think if I introduce each lesson with an example, it's going to make it easier. So instead of um, seeing the example here right now or hearing me do a lot of talking before each lesson, you're going to see me actually solve the problem that you're going to be working on. If you have any questions or you're still not sure what to do even after you watch me, then send me a chat. Don't waste your time doing the problems if you don't know what you're doing because they're going to be wrong. Send me a chat and say, hey, I'm not even submitting this. Can we can we uh, Zoom so we can do this together so I can have some help? And I would be totally happy to do that. If you were in school, if we're starting to do it, you have no clue, get that hand up and say, I need some help. Either way, uh, I feel the way we're doing math this week is really going to give us opportunity to get better in the two skills where we probably need the most. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's go ahead and get started with this week's math. Again, Wednesday, take a picture of that worksheet, your choice, which one you do. Send it to me so I can give you some feedback. All right, guys, have a great week, and I look forward to seeing how you do on your fractions and with multiplication.